Hey friends, right here it is July 9th, 2023, and we're fixing to do some stuff on this repaint. Um, so it's pretty obvious. I don't even know if I'm in frame, I can't see it. Uh, when a cabinet's been repainted, right? So, you know, it's fine. Some of them look so bad that you just gotta do it, or some are falling apart, or you gotta fix it or whatever. But the problem you get into is uh, if you're going to do it fake, you got to make it look decent. And a lot of people will skip this really important step, which is adding either webbing or uh, splatters, polka dots. So we're going to do that today. Hopefully. So I got this little china brush from Walmart. It was like a dollar, dollar twenty or fifty or whatever. It's really soft bristles so uh, basically what we're gonna do we got some black spray paint I should have planned this better I don't know what I did with it it's right here somewhere but this is the quality entertainment you come here for right so the first thing we're gonna do is take this freshly painted cabinet right here Go over it with some some wet dry, just to rough it up a little bit and make the future coats stick. And then we're going to take that black paint and spray it in a, a plastic cup, or you can do the lid if you want, but it makes a damn mess. Uh, to get a little paint in there, dip this in, go like this, just make little dots. Now, the one thing you want to keep in mind is you don't want to do it. Um, stand over it and do this because you'll have drips and they'll be like this big versus little bitty polka dots. Uh, ask me how I know. So that's the agenda for today. And if we get that done, we'll be good. So I'm being a little overly conservative on the cure time with these and even feeling this sitting right here, it's a little soft still and it's been a week. So you gotta be careful because it takes this rattle can stuff like weeks to fully cure. And if you get after it with wet sandpaper, especially when you paint a color on top of the white, they'll just smear it and look like crap when it's not fully cured. So we're gonna be careful. I'm gonna use wet dry sandpaper dry. The last time I used wet, it made a mess, like I say. So anyway, I gotta find my paint that I bought and my cups and sand, and we'll go to town. See, all you're gonna do, turn me around here, it's quality filmmaking. So you take your wet dry here and just, you can see the sheen, kind of. You just kind of want to knock that off. Rough up some of the orange peel. And then when we put the clear on, we'll buff it out to make it shiny. So this is the camera. I got to turn it around. All right, or the tripod. <laughs> Let's do this. The thing doesn't kill me, okay? Spray paint just does not do well. Okay, okay. Remember, remember, less is more, right? Actually working pretty well. So we'll just continue that all the way around. All right, apologize for the shaky cam. I went pretty light on the back until I tried to figure it out. So I could not brush up against it. See, I did get a good spritz from the first 
go around. But the point, the tip is to, that paint is so thin, it just sucks it up into your brush. So you gotta do it quickly before it like starts to cure in your brush because then it doesn't work at all. But I mean, not bad. It looks a hell of a lot better than the last time I tried to do this. That's a bristle. So I didn't get too crazy on the front because on this particular machine, it's blue. So we're gonna paint over that anyway. And by the time I got to the top, my brush was pretty solid hard from the paint curing, even though it only took me like 10 minutes to do this. Spray paint just cures fast, especially when you get all the stuff that evaporates out of it, you know? But that's how we did that. So short video this time, but quite important. I mean, it definitely hides the imperfections quite well. I can't, it's, it's difficult to see the waviness now that that's on there. Whereas before it was like blatantly obvious that I was kind of a half-ass bound door. So anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, I did forget to sand something on the inside, so the plan is to paint, I don't know why I'm doing this, just because it's fun. Paint this blue, paint, you know, all the rails blue, and then paint this front part here blue, but I forgot to, like, wet sand that, so. I did end up using wet sand, just because it worked a lot better on, not necessarily sanding, but keeping your sandpaper from fouling, so. So I'll probably paint that blue, and the, the switch cover blue. I need to give those a once over with a wet sander. All this other stuff is gonna be covered up by the mech board so you won't be able to see it, but I'll do this side too. And then we're gonna paint the mech board and the tilt board red, which, you know, matches the colors on the outside of the cabinet. So, I don't know, probably unnecessary, but fun. So yeah, let me know what you think. Keep it real and hopefully next time we'll be able to make the stencils and start painting you know, the designs. All right, thank you for watching. Keep it real, it's important. Later.